Hey guys, Luke from LukeDemarco.com here. Welcome to another video. Today I want to show you guys how to convert any DVD file in your super drive or video file on your hard drive to a format playable on your iPhone or iPod so that you can watch your favorite movies, TV shows, music videos, or any other video files on the go with no or little hassle at all. Now recently I did a video on my top 10 favorite applications for Mac OS X and I mentioned a program called Handbrake. And Handbrake is a free program. There will be a link in the sidebar. Link in the sidebar if you want to download it. And uh, Handbrake will convert any DVD or video file that you have to a format playable on your iPod, which is the MP4 format chosen by Apple. It's a great application, super easy, super fast, and I highly recommend it. Now today I'll be showing you guys how to convert a DVD file on your heart, that's in your super drive to the file file playable in iTunes. So uh, what you want to do is obviously I have Handbrake right here down in my dock and I have Two and a Half Men Season 2 Disc 1 already in my Super Drive queued up and ready to go. I don't have DVD player or anything open I've just got it sitting there and uh, it's just recognized as a volume. So now what you want to do is you want to open up Handbrake and right off the start it uh, asks you to open up some sort of video file. So you can browse your hard drive for any video file you want but uh, right off the bat here, it gives me different volumes. So I've got my heart, my main hard drive, which I can browse for other video files, uh, an external hard drive, which I can browse for files, or the uh, Two and a Half Men Season 2 Disc 1, which I want to convert right now because I want to watch the Two and a Half Men on my iPod. So uh, once that Two and a Half Men, or whatever DVD you have, is selected, just click Open. And up here by Source, it'll say Scanning New Source. And what's that, what that's doing is it's just scanning the DVD for video files. Scanning title 1 of 14, 2 of 14. Now there's usually about 7 episodes on a disc, and uh, the, re the other 7 are probably just bonus features and stuff like that. And while we're waiting here, I just want to thank you guys so much. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. I think we've got uh, 18 or 20 more people to go. Thank you very much, and uh, I really appreciate it. And yes, we will be doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers, just to thank you guys. Scanning title 9 of 14. This process could take as long as it takes, or could take as long as it takes. It could take long depending on what kind of computer you have, or what kind of Mac you have. So it says Source, Two and a Half Men, Season 2, Disc 1, which is correct. That's the disc we want to take it from. Right down here it says Title. 2 hours, 29 minutes, 11 seconds. I don't know about you, but I don't, I've never seen too many two and a half men episodes that are two and a half hours. So uh, what you want to do is you want to click the drop down menu here and select something else because that, that two hours, 29 minutes is probably just all the video files compiled together. We don't want that. Say I just want the first episode on the disc. Common sense tells me that two and a half men episodes are 21 to 22 minutes long, 20, somewhere in that region without commercials. And that's what I have here. I have the actual season disc without commercials. So right here I have about seven episodes that uh, are completely 21 to 20 minutes long. So I'm going to I'm gonna say that those are, my, those are the actual episodes on the disc with the audio. So I'm just going to go to the first one, which is the first episode on the disc, and click that. So I want to convert chapters 1 through the last one, which is 5, because I want the entire episode. Uh, duration, 21 minutes, 19 seconds. Destination, you can choose uh, wherever to the file to convert. I have it converting to an external hard drive, just because when I back up my computer, um, I can have all of my videos still, and even if I have a computer crash, I don't have to reconvert all of those huge movies and video files. And it takes up a lot of hard drive space, just to warn you right now. Output settings, um, I MP4 obviously because that's the file that iPods play. Video codec, I like to keep it at MP, uh, MPEG4, FFmpeg because that's uh, the highest quality encoder. And the rest of the settings should be pretty much default set. If you want audio, different, uh, maybe you want the French or Spanish audio, you can go in here and change all that. Maybe you want English or French or Spanish subtitles, you can change that as well. But uh, I, for this video, I don't want any of that. I just want the English audio and uh, obviously the no subtitles and the English video. So once you've got all your settings ready to go, what you want to do is click Start Encoding. And right down at the bottom here, a progress bar will come up, and uh, this, it's going to do two encoding passes. And depending on how long the video file you're doing is 
is how long it is, it, that's how long it's going to take to convert. So, for instance, two and a half men episodes are 20 to 22 minutes long, like I've already said. The first encoding pass will take 10 minutes, and the second encoding pass will take another 10 minutes for a total of about 20 minutes. So, um, it'll usually take the exact number of time that the video file is. However, if you have a video file or movie that's over two hours, it's going to take a little longer. So, maybe if it's two hours or two and a half hours, it'll take three to three hours and 15 minutes or whatnot. So uh, files that are two hours, just because they're so much bigger, they'll take a little bit longer. So um, I'm not actually going to convert this right now because I've already got one converted. So yours will take about 20, 20 minutes if you're converting a show like that. So now I'm just going to exit out of Handbrake here. And as you see, on my desktop, I've already got one converted uh, in an M4V format, which is the format used to play on your iPod. I'm going to open up iTunes real quick just to show you how to get it into iTunes. And it opens up to my movies folder. Right now, as you see, I've got one more movie in there, Burn Noticed. And I'm going to take my two and a half men right here, and I'm just going to drag it into iTunes. It'll say up here, copying one of one, two and a half men, season two, disc one. So now it's in my movies folder, and as you see, it's got a blue dot beside it, which means that uh, it's new. And right down here, you see the title of it is like all weird. It's act it was actually the title of the DVD. And if you don't want that, you can just right click it and click Get Info and maybe go to info and the name of the episode you want to name it two and a half two and a half men season two disc one episode I don't actually know the title I'd usually just type the title of the episode but I don't know it at this point in time so then just click enter and it changes like that and it's great quality and I, unfortunately I can't show you the quality right now because of copyright issues but uh, trust me it's fantastic quality try it out it's really great now all you have to do is plug your iPod into your computer via USB cable sync it up and you're good to go so guys this is Luke from LukeDemarco.com Hope you have fun with your videos, movies, and music videos on your iPod for free. Now, I will be doing a Windows tutorial on how to do this because I have a free application on Windows that does this as well. And uh, it's super fast, super easy. And this is Luke from LukeDemarco.com reminding you to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time, guys.